Hello, welcome once again to your favorite program, Talking Fingers, the only program that teaches your fingers how to talk. Um, I guess your weekend was fine. Mine was nice. I met with uh, some family friends, and of course, I taught them how to use their fingers appropriately. You know, our fingers can't just eat. I mean, our fingers don't just eat. They do the talking too. And on the program, we have been learning how to talk with our fingers. If you're watching for the first time, you've missed about 13 lessons, <laughs> 13 lessons. But not to worry, after the program, you can always log on to www.youtube.com slash NTA2Lagos. If you log on to that site, you'll see both videos and playlists. Then click on playlist. You'll see talking, among other videos, you'll see, you'll see talking fingers. Click on talking fingers, and then you'll see all episodes of this program. You can do a catch-up lesson of all that has been taught. Last week, we had our test. I earlier on, on the program told you that we'll have tests for two weeks, and so we're still going to continue with our tests today, today and Wednesday. Today and Wednesday, we'll finish with our tests so that by next week, we'll resume teaching again. So we'll continue. The format we have is you call. Uh, this time, you don't need to pick a number. I'll just, I think for us to save time, you just call and I'll give a sign out. You tell me the meaning of that sign. Remember, if you answer correctly, you'll score five points. If you answer partly, that will be two points. I have students who have scored 10, 7, 15 points. Last week, I... I made a mistake in saying that Lucy got 30 points. Lucy is topping the class with 40 points. So 60 more points for her, and she will win one of the books on the shelf. Remember, we are running individual race. At whatever point, or I mean, at whatever time you score 100 points, you will win one of the books on the shelf. OK? Uh, you, your calls can start coming in now. There are two lines to call. Call any of this line that it's um, convenient, for, most convenient for you. And then I'll make a sign. Then you tell me the meaning of the sign. In the meantime, let me quickly run through the signs that uh, we did on, on Wednesday. Some students asked um, for questions number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 40, uh, and so many other numbers are gone. When you call, I'll give you the numbers that are available. Okay, we learned how to sign good morning. You remember? Good morning. Then uh, we've also answered uh, good afternoon this way. Good afternoon. Then we've learned how to sign good evening, which is does this. Good evening. Okay, that is also gone. Then um, how are you? How are you? How are you? What is your name? What is your name? That is also gone. In reply, you say, my name is, my name is. Are you able to do any of those signs? Have you tried it? Have you met with any deaf who is educated? You know, we have, uh, we have a lot of deaf that are not educated. You see some of them wear uh, signposts on their body saying, I am deaf and dumb, please help me. Such ones are not educated, they didn't go to school, so they can't even sign. We use this medium to appeal to parents who have deaf children to take them to school. Okay, take your deaf children to school, they will not only learn how to talk with their fingers, they'll be educated like other kids. And tomorrow is Children's Day, so we use this forum to say happy Children's Day to all children out there, especially to the deaf ones. We love you. And I'll quickly say happy Children's Day in sign language to the deaf. Happy? This way. Happy? Who remembers how to sign children? Who remember how to sign children? Do you remember how to sign children? Of course, those were little ones. Children. Okay, so we do happy children's day. Would you watch again? Day is this way. Mm? That's day. So together, happy children's day because you're going to say this to every child you meet tomorrow. 
Okay, that's another way to teach sign. If you see any child tomorrow, you do Happy Children's Day. After signing it, you can now voice it and say Happy Children's Day. Now let's do it together. Happy, this way, happy. Then Children's Day. One more time. Happy Children's Day. Okay, beautiful. Now we um, also answer the question, your family is welcome. Like I said, you can call. I hope the number to call is on the screen. You can dial any of this number. And let's see if some of the signs are having taught is clear to you. Okay, remember it's our test week today and Wednesday is still our test week. Um, if you want to answer any questions, all you do is you call. Uh, and then I'll, I'll make some signs which you tell me the answers to. Back again, number seven question was, because it's been answered, your family is welcome. One more time. Your family is welcome. Okay, the student who answered that question got it correct. And then we have my husband is mm. do I need to tell you this? I think it speaks for itself. What is this? Surely when your eyes is closed. Well, sleeping. You got it right. So together my husband is sleeping again. My husband is then you close your eyes and then put your hands together. That's sleeping. My husband is sleeping. That question also has been answered. Then number nine, uh, parents are important. Parents. Parents are important. Parents are important. And question 10 is also answered. I love my man is the answer. I love my man. You remember? Man is this way. While husband is this, bind together. You have husband like this. Then you have man this way. Huh? Man is this way. That's man. So all together again, I love my man. I love my man. Okay. I hope the students are in the class. Ibrahim, Umar Dayote, Ifoma, Bobby Godwin, Esther Batlomi, you have seven points. Adenuro Olubayo, Samuel Sunday. Um, Silver Israel, you have 10 points. Interesting. Now we have Kayode Ruben with 10 points. Love Day Dami also has, no, Love Day Dami has five points. Joseph Olatunji, seven points. Lucy Ulugbe, <laughs> 40 points. Kudos. Now we have Jenny Hanacho, 10 points. Felicia, 18 points. Victoria Ogunaike, 8 points. Chukuma Emeka, 4 points. Israel Adegoke, 14 points. These are the students so far that have answered questions. Um, some other students answered questions, though they didn't get it correct. It's called zero. I won't want to mention names. <laughs> okay? So I'm still expecting your call uh, to answer more questions. Answer more questions and move your mark a little bit closer to 100 points. Back again to... Okay, back again to uh, some of the signs we've learned. Remember, we've learned how to sign letters A to Z, which I said is very important because that will help you fingerspell just about any word. Okay, so we'll quickly go through those letters again. We'll have letter A this way, remember? We'll have B, C, D, E, S, G, H, I, J, anti-clockwise, you remember, not clockwise. Anti-clockwise, so that it will make sense to the person you're signing to. Anti-clockwise, J. Then you have K. Mm -hmm. K is the index finger, the middle finger, and the thumb in between. That's letter K. Then you have L. M. Hello. Yes, hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening. Yeah. What's My name it? is Kade Ruben. Okay, Kade Ruben, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, what's your score? 
10 points. No, I don't think so. It's, that's not on my list. Are you sure you're zero points? <laughs> Hello, pardon? I said there's no point for you on the register. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, there's no point for you. So let's see if you can score a point. I'm going to make a sign, and then you attempt to... Uh, oh, can, I, can I pick a number? Okay, pick a number then. Okay, number nine. That is why I wanted to pick a number for you because number 1 to 12 is taken. 1 to 12 is taken. 39, 40 is taken. So, what? Okay. okay. Uh, can I pick okay, number 12? Number 12 is taken. Number what? Number 12 is taken. Okay, number 12 is taken. Yes. Uh, okay. Sorry, can, can I hear the numbers that have been taken? That, that from, been from, taken. 13, from 13 to 30 is... Okay, a, number 14. Number 14. Okay, watch. Yes. Are you watching? What is your family name? One more time. What is your Family's name. Five points for Ruve. <laughs> <laughs> Five points for you. Interesting. That's the answer. What is your family name? Okay, choose, okay, num a, choose another number. Number number fifteen. Number fifteen. Okay, just okay. just a minute. Are you watching? I'm watching. What is your Okay, is your is your aunt, your wife, yes, your wife name. Okay, I'm gonna finger spell the name. Is, now. I'm gonna finger spell the name. You got it so far. Okay, please repeat it, repeat it. Okay. Is your wife name? Now I'm spelling the name. Okay. Please, respect that finger. K E M I. Can me. So yes. all together, what did I say? <laughs> what did yes, I say? It, what did I say? Is your wife's name is Kenny. Is your nice wife's name Kenny? Is your wife's name yeah. Kenny? Ten points for Ruben. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for calling. 20, 20 points. Okay. Thank, thank you so much. 10 points. Okay, so we have Kaede Ruben with 10 points. Interesting. Why not call and see if you win some points for yourself? If not for the points, let's just have fun together talking with our fingers. Okay? I expect your call. She, he got that. Is your wife's name Kemi? That's the beauty of uh, knowing your letters. Is your wife's name Kemi? And the other question he answered right is, what's the question again? Uh, what is your family name? Okay, what is your family name? Hello? Okay, I lost that call. Okay, quickly, uh, back to the letters. We have A, B, C, D, E, F. G like a gun, H like a double barrel, I, the little finger, J anti-clockwise, so that it will make sense to the person you're signing to, J, and then you have K, L, M, M is your thumb in between your little finger and the fourth finger. You can see it has three legs, one, two, three, okay? Uh, so, some, <laughs> some people's thumb is so short that they can't see their thumb sticking out. Never mind. What's important is the legs. Once the three legs appear, the M is intact. Okay, so this is letter M. Of course, letter N has two legs, which is just this. The thumb goes in between the fourth finger and the middle finger. That's letter N. O is this way. You can see it make an O shape from your side view. That's letter O. And then you have P. P. Hello? You have P. Q. Thought I had a student online. All right, just keep trying. This is letter Q. And then you have R, crossed. R. Remember when R is on your mouth? 
and you stroke it out gently, it means a word. Who knows that word? Who knows that word when it's on your lips and you stroke it out? Okay, I guess the students are trying now. Lucy, do you know the word? Exactly, R, R. When R finger is on your mouth and you push it out a little bit, it means R. Okay, so R, then you have S, like a fist, S. T is the thumb in between the index finger and the middle finger. That's letter T. Uh, then you have U. Be careful with your U, don't open. Hello now. Hello. Hello. Yes, what's the name of this student? Hello. Hello, I can hear you. What's your name? My, my name is Badmos T.A. Badmos who? Badmos T.A. T.A. Uh, okay, that's a new student. Badmos, Hello. Uh, when did you start watching the program? Uh -huh. When did you start watching the program? Hello. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello. Oh, we're having a problem with connection. Okay, hello, ma. Hello, ma. Hello, I can hello, hear ma. you. I can hear you, bad most. Do I choose a number you, for you? Thank you, too. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Are you still on? Okay, I think we have a problem with that connection. Bad most is bad most. Would you? Would you? Hello. Hello, ma. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello. <laughs> okay, please. Can you disconnect that? line uh, please try try again try again we are you know we are not communicating well okay back to the letters quickly we said this is r we have s c and i said your u you should be careful with your u because any opening will mean another thing this is letter u v is this way open you have w x y and Z, anti-clockwise. And I said you should practice these letters every day so that you'll be fast. So can you, can you recite your ABCD like a baby? Fast. I know you can voice it A, B, C, D. Can you do that in sign language fast? Can you do that? Okay, quickly, A to Z. A, I will dictate why you sign. A, B, C, D. E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. <laughs> Interesting if you did that. Okay, now let's go a little faster. Did you get that right? Now let's go faster. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You're lost. <laughs> I know you are. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. A lot of practice will get you there. A lot of practice will get you there. What about the signs you have learned? Do you practice hello? it? Hello? Hello? Yes, hello. Good evening. What's the name of the student that is calling? What's your name? Mm. You know, it's so painful. I, I've been in your shoes before. It's so painful to call, get through, and not be able to speak uh, with the presenter. It's so painful because I know a lot of people are trying, and then eventually you get through, and then you're not able to speak. Sorry about that. Okay, sorry about that. Please keep trying. <laughs> keep trying. And now back to uh, some of the signs we taught. I don't want to give out the answers. I don't want to give out the answers. I want you to call and answer. But a student have answered this. One, two, three, four. Last week, a student got it correct. Do you remember what he said? One, two, three. There's an article Hello. that was omitted. Hello. 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 Hello, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, what's the name? Yes, this is Niyi. Niyi. Niyi who, please? You said what? Niyi who? 
O B E. Yes. Ah. Okay, let's 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 omit that because um the line is not clear. Uh, let me are you gonna pick a number or do I pick for you? You said what? Are you gonna pick are you gonna pick a number or do I pick for you? Yes, I have to pick. Okay, pick for me please. I should um, pick for you. Actually a new student. You are a new student? When did you join? Yes, I I actually joined two weeks ago. I was this two Mondays ago. Then the second time was last week Wednesday. Okay, okay. So then let me I actually have interest in it. That's interesting. Unfortunately, last week Monday was test. Um, Wednesday was also test. It wasn't a teaching week. So I'm going to ask you a question uh, on the signs that have been answered before. In fact, on the signs I made today. Okay, that's um, that's a big clue for you. Are you ready? I'll yes, go. Sir. I'll go with question four. How are you? How are you? That's so cheap, isn't it? Yes. That's cheap. But that's okay. You got five points. I'm going to choose another one. Maybe this time a little tough one. Um, Ah, your family is, I don't know that last one. I know if I had done this, you would know. What is this? Welcome. Uh-huh, but I don't want to do that. Okay, I want you to add a little of your own. Uh, this, of course, you said you just started last week. This your is what? This family is, what? is welcome. What is this? Sleeping. Sleeping. What is this? Husband. I'll give it Husband. to you. You scored 10 points for yourself. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks so much for calling. <laughs> okay, he just joined two weeks ago and he's doing very well. He's doing very well. So you see, um, sign language is not difficult at all. All it requires is interest. You watch this program, in a matter of three, four months, you'll be signing, you'll be communicating with the deaf. And remember, that is the aim of this program, to help close the existing gap between the hearing and the deaf. So that if you meet a deaf person who is educated, you will be able to communicate uh, to the person, particularly relations of the deaf. If you're a mother who has deaf, or a sibling uh, who has deaf brother or sister, please, it's advisable you watch this. It's a must watch for you because you have to communicate with your family member who is deaf. And if for any reason you miss out on the program, please log on to www.youtube.com slash nta2lagos uh, click on playlist. You'll see Talking Fingers there. Watch all the episodes of the program so that you catch up with the signs that have been taught. And that way, you will be able to communicate with your deaf loved ones. Hello? Hello? What's the name of this student? Hello? Hello, what's your name, please? David. David. David who? David Ago. David Ago. David, when did you join the class? I'm a new student. When did you join? When did you start watching? Let me say I started yesterday. Yesterday. Yes. Sorry, last week. Last week, better. Last week. Last week. So um so you've not learned much. After the program, if you're on if you're on YouTube, I advise you go on site and uh, online and watch uh, past episodes of the program. In the meantime, I normally watch people online. Okay, that's good. That's good. So, which means I can ask any question then? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, would you choose a number or do I choose for you? You said? Will you choose a number or do I choose for you? Two, one. Okay, a lot of people are at home. <laughs> I hope they don't give you the answers. Tell them to be quiet while I ask the question, okay? Don't. Hello, sir. I, I, I can't hear you. It's a family affair. I can hear other family members talking. Nobody should give you the answer, okay? Okay, sure, sure. All right. So let's go. Um, Sorry, come again, come again. He is my husband. No, that one is not husband. Look at come it. Come again, come again, son, come again.
This is not, you know, this is husband. I didn't sign this. This is husband, but that's not what I signed. I did this and then I added this. This sign is a child. Yeah, that's a, so this, this is a boy and this a child together makes what? Son. Hello, hello, I can't hear you very well. This is son. I'm giving, I'm helping you. This is okay. son. Okay, so answer the question again. He is my brother's friend. Okay, two points for you. I didn't sign brother. I helped you out. I told you what that one is. I thought you were going to get it. Two points for you. Um, would you choose another number? The answer to that question is, she is my son's friend. This is friend. This is friend. Okay, oh. choose another number. Okay, okay. Choose, choose another number. Okay, any other question? Any other question? Okay, I'm going to ask you another question quickly. Okay. Just watch. And ask another question. I'm okay. asking, I'm asking already. Okay. My husband loves me. My husband loves me. That's <laughs> five points for you. Altogether, you have seven points. Thanks so much for calling. Thanks so much for calling. And I think that's the much we can take for today. Quickly, let's go through our ABCD like a song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. I'll be here again on Wednesday Go online and watch the past episodes of this program so that on Wednesday we'll cap up all the tests for the week. As for next week, we'll resume teaching again.